What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel and to a real time stretch with me video. Ever since I started stretching every morning about two weeks ago, a lot of you have been requesting that I just do one of these real time videos and show you guys my stretching routine. I'm not very flexible, so I'm gonna continue to do this every day for the next few weeks or months and hopefully increase my flexibility. If you're not flexible, you should definitely do this every day too and we can just kind of do it together every morning. If you are flexible, you can just go ahead and do this maybe before a workout or just make some of the moves that I'm doing more advanced. So I encourage you to take your shoes off and go somewhere that makes you feel comfortable. So right now I'm outside. For you, that could mean doing it in your bedroom or your living room or also coming outside, but I just want you to feel as comfortable as you can. This is supposed to just be a really calm and relaxing stretching routine. I'm not gonna talk throughout the video because I just wanna focus on my stretches and I want you to be as relaxed as you can be. So I'm just gonna do little voiceovers here and there whenever we're gonna switch moves. I'm gonna do each stretch in between 15 and 30 seconds. If you feel like you wanna do it longer, just go ahead and pause the video do it as long as you want and then come back to the video. So let's just get right into the stretching routine. So we're just gonna start by rolling out our neck. So just slowly roll it three times one way, switch directions and do it three Life times the other way. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights. Won't stop for traffic lights. Now that our neck is nice and warmed up, we're going to go ahead and stretch our upper body. So bring one arm behind your head and lightly press on it with your elbow. I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Let's do five arm swings just to open up that chest and then go ahead and do the same exact stretch on the other arm. Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crying. Let's do five more arm swings just to open everything up and then we're gonna move into a cross body stretch. So just bring one arm across your chest and pull it back with the other arm making sure to keep your shoulders nice and even. Keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on. We're gonna move into one more upper body stretch just to make sure our arms and chest are nice and warm. So go ahead and clasp your fingers, put them behind your back, and just lift up. Let's start stretching that lower body. So I want you to get your toes and feet about shoulder width apart and just slowly go down to the ground as far as you can go. And we're just gonna hold that for about 10 seconds. Let's come back up and just bring our feet just a little bit more apart and we're just gonna go down and hold it in the center. All right, you can go ahead and slowly just walk over to one side and make sure your feet stay pointed forwards. Slowly walk over to the other side. And let's go ahead and walk back to the center. Just hold that for about 20 seconds to make sure our hamstrings get really warmed up. So our last stretch before we move to the floor is just a nice quad stretch. 
So you can use a wall for stabilization, but I'm actually going to use my hand to push my hips forward to just get a better stretch in that quad. Go ahead and switch legs and we're just going to hold that for about 10 to 12 seconds. Okay, we're going to move to the ground now and we're just going to start off with a butterfly stretch to stretch out our hip flexors. So just lightly press on your knees with your elbows and we're going to hold this for about 20 seconds. Let's go ahead and move into a straddle, opening up our legs as wide as we can. If you are flexible enough to reach pretty far forward, go ahead and do that. But if you're like me, I just kind of sat straight up and reached in front of me as far as I could. Go ahead and slowly move to one side and just kind of pull on your foot and make sure it stays flexed. And let's go ahead and move to the opposite side now. I'm going to go ahead and do 20 more seconds on each side just to really loosen up my hamstrings. We're going to go ahead and move onto our backs now. Lie down and pull your knees into your chest and this is just going to give you a nice stretch in your lower back. Go ahead and extend one leg and keep the other one tight to your chest and you should really feel this in your glute and hamstring. And switch legs. All right, so now we're going to sit up and do what's called a number four stretch. So you're going to put one ankle on the opposite knee and then just scoot your butt in as close as you can to the heel that's on the ground. And you should really feel this in your glute.
go ahead and switch sides and just make sure you inch in as close as you can to your heel. Let's go ahead and move into child's pose now for about 30 seconds. I really enjoy just holding this for a while. I find it really relaxing. So just reach as far as you can forward and just stay there for about 30 seconds. In the heat from a hot California I forgot how you look like in rain I swear I never thought it would matter If I'm gone by now Let's move into downward dog, feeling that nice stretch in your hamstrings and if you want to feel a little bit in your calves as well, you can go ahead and pedal your feet like I am. Alright, let's go ahead and extend our right leg up and then bring it straight through into a lunge. If this is too much for you, you can go ahead and put your knee on the ground. Also, the harder you push your hips forward, the more you're going to feel a nice stretch in that left quad. Okay, we're going to move into my favorite stretch, which is the pigeon pose. So the foot that was forward, go ahead and bring it underneath you, bringing your foot in close to your body. And we're just going to sit up for a while and then we're going to lay down and really feel that stretch. Go ahead and bring your elbows down to the ground and just bring your head down and really feel that stretch in your legs. Before we repeat all those stretches on the other side, we're just going to do some cat and dog stretches. So bring your head up and arch your back and then go ahead and bring your head into your chest and kind of extend your back upwards if that makes sense. And we're just going to do 10 of these. So let's move back into downward dog, pedal those feet a little bit if you want to, and then we're going to repeat the lunge and the pigeon pose on the other leg. Let's go ahead and kick that left leg up and go straight into the lunge. And go ahead and put your knee down if that makes you feel more comfortable. Mm -hmm. 
Let's move into pigeon pose on this leg. Hold that for a while while sitting up and then lay down on your elbows. To finish off this stretch, let's just go ahead and sit on our heels and do about 10 nice big shoulder rolls. it for this stretching routine guys i hope you enjoyed it and if you want to do it every day like i am you can just come back to this video whenever you want and we can do it together if you made it this far comment down below your flexibility on a scale from one to ten i would say i'm a five but i definitely like to know what you guys are i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in my next one bye guys Thank <laughs> you.